Greek city-states, 600 to 337 BCE. There were many Greek city-states. Athens and Sparta were the leading cities, constantly fighting each other to dominate Greece. Athens and Sparta had very different beliefs and ways of life. Athens was a busy cosmopolitan trading city run by public debate and decision-making, a center for new ideas and trade from all over the world. Athens became great through prosperity and invention. Sparta was steered by its king, uh, two kings actually, and had a very strictly ruled and militaristic society. Sparta threatened Athens' leadership with a well-trained and superior army. Athens was the birthplace of democracy under the reformers Cleisthenes and Pericles. Voting was enjoyed by free men, but not by women, foreigners, or slaves. By 400 BCE, it was the leading city-state, controlling the seas and a number of colonies abroad. Many cities paid tribute to Athens for protection and trade advantages. Its statesmen, soldiers, writers, architects, philosophers, artists, and mathematicians had wide influence. Cities such as Corinth, Thebes, Samos, and Byzantium also made up the culture known as Classical Greece. Being smaller than Athens and Sparta, they often had to ally themselves with each other to survive, sometimes switching sides. Each made its own special little contribution to Greek culture. Sparta had a large army, and life for the Spartans was much harsher for civilized, cultured Athenians. Spartans were renowned for their strength, dedication, and courage. Sparta relied on a vast population of land slaves, called Helots, to provide food. A Helot rebellion in 464 BCE lasted for 20 years, until the Spartans created an army to control the slaves, the first dictatorial police state. Spartan life was tough from birth onward. Babies who were weak or sick were left to die on the mountainside. Boys were given strenuous training in military skills and sports from the age of 7 until they were 20, when they became citizens. Then they joined the army. Even when married, Spartans ate and slept in a communal barracks until they were 30 years old.